Psalms 96 starting at 10 Say among the heathen that the Lord Yahweh reigneth The world also shall be established That it shall not be moved He shall judge the people righteously Let the heavens rejoice and Let the earth be glad Let the sea roar And the fullness thereof Let the field be joyful And all that is therein Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice Before the Lord Yahweh for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. John 8, starting at 31. Then said Yahweh Shah to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Psalms 117. O oh, praise ye the Lord Yahweh, all ye nations, all ye nations of Israel. Praise ye him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, towards Israel. And the truth of the Lord Yahweh endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. All praises on that glory be to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit. Call her Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hachachwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to you, sincere and humble brothers, faithfully and diligently preaching this word with fear and trembling. And shalom to the believers who subscribe wholeheartedly through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And your brother Tazamak coming at you again, Lord willing, with an edifying in transit. This is another spirit of the wheel. mercy is this truth the Lord's mercy is this truth you can receive it or you can reject it you no know, you can hear it and take heed or you can forbear it and be destroyed you know and that's just what it is the Lord is going to judge the world with this truth. The Lord is coming. He is coming. And we're hastening in the day, those that believe, those that hear his word and take heed. We're hastening in the day. Every day we're praying to get up out of here, praying to be delivered. From this wicked kingdom Babylon the Great Because this place has no mercy This place has no truth Right I was just watching uh, A clip on Worldstar Where this uh, mother Walks in on her teenage son Tongue kissing another man Lord say um, it shall be as in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah when the Son of Man shall be revealed which is Yahweh Shah <clears throat> and that's exactly the type of scenes that were being displayed in Sodom right Revelation 11, they said his pace is spiritually Egypt and Sodom. Okay, uh, there's nothing left for America to do but be destroyed. It's done every evil work that can be done in the earth. Every evil work that can be done has been done in Babylon the Great.
and destroying America, all right, is mercy for the righteous, for the just, for the innocent. You know, those that long to be anyway. Okay. Because no one is uh, righteous but, but our Lord. Truly. And we constantly see examples in the scriptures where the Lord's wrath and indignation was poured out upon kingdoms <laughs> I'll leave it there <laughs> All right where it was poured out upon kingdoms they continually did wickedness so what makes you think that America is going to be any different what makes you think that America is going to be spared from the wrath and indignation of the Lord. It's not. Okay. The Lord has, has told us how he judges. And there ain't no way around it, man. You know? what we commit to we commit to this ministry to uh you know please your heart by shimmy how and so that he may have mercy on us somebody has to testify of his judgment and his righteousness and somebody has to commit to it out there that's going to give up their lives and their way of living for this truth. Because that's just the way the Lord programmed it. It's a uh, many are called but few are chosen. Right? It's a whole nation of people called to be the Lord's righteous vessels unto honor in the earth but only a elect few of those are going to actually do it you know and it's much easier said than done because you got to be willing to go to war for righteousness you got to be willing to uh, die for this truth you got to be willing to die to receive the mercy of the Lord. Because when you really look at it, uh, you know, these people are holding on to lives that ain't worth living. But they don't know it. They think this the end all be all. You know, they think this is the last life they live not knowing that after they pass from this world they are called up to be judged for the next life right which in the world to come we will we will be righteous the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and the descendants of those tribes. Okay. From their father. A lot of our people won't even wake up to who they are. Don't even receive the truth of who they truly are until it's too late and that'll be in the midst of this world being destroyed when they see the 
your leg being beamed up into the chariots and, and they are thrust out you know they're left out Lord willing I'm not of that fall but of the fall of those that are elected to receive salvation victory over death like I was saying these people don't even realize that you know they living a life of death this whole world America is the valley of the shadow of death but instead of you know praying and hastening for our Lord to return and give us life they're praying God bless America God bless bitterness. So that <laughs> death and destruction. So their, their, their prayers are going to be answered because the Lord is going to come and and recompense America. Bitterness, all right, death and destruction. Lamentations, mournings, and woe is what the Bible prophesies of to come to all the wicked. America is their chief place of wickedness, so <laughs> the Lord's not going to turn from his word. And it only makes sense to have you individuals that uh, love America, pray for it to be blessed. <laughs> You know, you got people really pushing for America to survive, to keep going. That's why Jeremiah was at 51, said we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. She won't bounce back to any, uh, you know, type of uh, glorious uh, state again, man. You know, it was a time where America was glorious, where it was... You know, Esau Edom had what I call his golden years. You know, pretty much from Christopher Columbus up until 1970. And that's when they started to go down, man. When their sins reached into the heavens and they, they took their, you know, their space expeditions up into the heavens. That was the peak of their rulership. And that's also when the truth started to uh, take root in the earth, you know. Through our forefathers, beginning with our forefathers, you know, as prophesied, if you can receive John the Baptist or Elijah, you know, who are one in the same spirit, came back as our forbiddance and passed his truth down. Okay, to the elders and apostles of Israel today. All right. Who are a great millstone. Now, there's a lot of people that can't accept that. But the truth doesn't, the truth validates itself. All right, Yahweh Shai, who is the truth? His word validates itself Because It's the judgment that is executed in the earth It's the judgment that is carried out in the earth He said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book It is written of me To do the will of the Heavenly Father And the Heavenly Father says His words are not going to return unto him boy, boy. So Yahweh Shai has already Pretty much accomplished When he came down paid the price for us to receive this truth by his blood being shed that was the price it's done so he said it is finished it's done just like America it's done and that's just the truth call Allah you lie your whole by Shem Yahweh Shai Baba Chaha Kodash
All praises to the Heavenly Father, name is only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. Kwame Asherala, Ababa, Ball, Rise Israel, Destroy Confusion, Shalom, Lava, Peace to the Lake.